Bill, let's follow the money. You follow the money every single day. How do those numbers stack up with what the former president, Donald Trump, has been able to achieve? Donald Trump has had an amazing run of fundraising since that, actually since um, you know he was indicted and uh, the historic conviction in the New York courtroom. I mean, he, he raised about $58 million that day online alone. He's had a number of people who are um, signing up to support his campaign. Um, we've reported that Elon Musk has pledged to put $45 million a month into a super PAC to help him get out the vote. So Donald Trump is doing financially very, very well. His campaign and the Republican Party started July with about $285 million in the bank. That's $45 million more than Joe Biden and the Democrats had. Bill, what does it mean for Kamala Harris at the top of the ticket? We know that means she has access to the $96 million in Biden's war chest. But what kind of new donations could we see? Well, there has been, you know, a, a huge um, jump in online donations to Act Blue. We don't know exactly where those donations are going, but I think it's a pretty good guess that a lot of them are going either to the president, to her ticket, or to um, the DNC, which supports her. Um, and um, you know, Democratic donors were on the sidelines for for the month of Ju for most of the months of July. They were talking about holding back ninety million dollars that was going to go into the main super PAC that was going to support Joe Biden. Uh, now we expect some of that money to come loose. Um, and uh, you know, Democratic donors were very very uncomfortable with donating to Joe Biden, who they weren't sure could finish out another four year term. And now um, I think that what we're going to see is that they're going to be you know energized, and we're going to see like a lot more money coming into. Democratic uh, coffers.